Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video we're going to be talking about my skincare routine. It took me a long time to establish a really good skincare routine that works for me. A ton of trial and error. Um, I'll start off by telling you guys that I have extremely oily skin. And I'm talking about the kind of oil where you're, I'm sitting at work and go like this and then my hand is just like slapped with oil. So um, I always would be like, I wish I had dry skin. <laughs> and I honestly, I do. I just hate having oily skin so much because I feel like it's so hard to keep that oil at bay. And I feel like it'd be much easier to moisturize dry skin, if that makes sense. My skin has definitely gotten oilier since I had my daughter Aniston. The past three years, it's just been like nonstop production. So, and I also have acne prone skin, which is horrible. I'm in my mid twenties and I still suffer from it. If I change my diet or if I'm not sleeping or if it's my time of the month, TMI, I break out and it's just like unavoidable. So I finally, the past few months, have found a skincare routine that really has worked for me. So I'm excited to tell you guys about it. So the first thing that I do after a long day of working. Typically I wear makeup every single day. So what I do first is take these cleansing wipes and these are the Equate brand. I buy Neutrogena. I also buy the Burt's Bees. I don't really care which kind. Those are the three I normally just rotate in between and the Equate ones actually come in a box of like I think six of these packs. So I go through them so much I just started using the Equate brand a little bit more. I take one of those wipes and I wipe off my entire face of makeup. Normally I do use two wipes to make sure that I'm getting all of it off. Another option if you don't want to use wipes is you can use this Garnier Skin Active Micro Cellar Water. And this stuff is really good. As you can see, it's like almost gone. So I've been using just the wipes. This lasted me for a really long time. All I would do was take a little cotton round, pour it on there and wipe it on my face. And this stuff is magic. I honestly adore this stuff. I need to get some more. But those are the two things that I've always in, in the past, I say two months, I've done this every single time. And you guys, I used to be one of those people who would sleep in my makeup at night. And I wish I knew how bad that was for my skin back then. I, I never even thought about it. And I feel like I've just destroyed my skin from <laughs> seriously like years of sleeping in makeup. So big no-no. After my makeup is wiped off with either the skin microcellar water or, or is it micellar water or the makeup wipe, I go in with a cleanser. And this cleanser I actually heard about on Kelly Strack's channel. She is a makeup guru. I can link her channel down below. She's absolutely amazing. I'm sure most of you guys already follow her. But she mentioned this cleanser and I went out and bought it because it sounded like it would work for me and it absolutely did. It is the Murad cleanser and it says that it is an acne control clarifying cleanser. So it says that this powerful gel cleanser helps clear existing blemishes and prevent future breakouts using the salicylic acid. And honestly guys, this stuff worked. When I started using it, I had breakouts all over. Like under the skin ones, over the skin ones, the red ones, just everywhere. And within a few days of using this, I could see them clearing up. It was so amazing. And for me, this cleanser was actually a really good price. I got it during the Sephora VIB 20% off sale. So I got it for a really good price, but I thought, I'm pretty sure that the line of Murad actually is pretty well priced compared to the other lines that I've tried. And it's just amazing because it actually really does work. So I am obsessed with this stuff. After I go ahead and scrub my face with a cleanser, I normally sit there and try to count so I get a full like 30 to 45 seconds of scrubbing the cleanser in. I rinse it off with a damp towel and then I apply toner. And the toner that I really like is this one by Dermalogica. They have an amazing skincare line. And honestly guys, I'm one of those people who's willing to pay the money for skincare if that's what it needs to be. Because obviously like your skin's the first thing people notice about you. And it makes me so insecure when I have like bad skin and it's all broken out. So this toner, I would, was never really a big fan of toner. I used to use apple cider vinegar and water. That works really well. This one's just easy because it's in a spray bottle. I can just spray it on really quick. And then I, um, what do you call this? I fan my face dry after I'm done using it. And overall, it makes my skin just feel really hydrated. The next thing I do is apply a moisturizer. Now, it depends on kind of where I'm at in my 
you know, days if I'm using an acne moisturizer or just a regular hydrating moisturizer. I am more using hydrating moisturizers recently just because it is winter and we live in the Midwest. So it's like cold and your skin does tend to get a little bit dry. Even though mine is oily, it still kind of will get dry if that makes sense. So I go back and forth, but the acne one that I use whenever I have breakouts and I feel like I need to use the moisturizer that will actually help keep those away, I use this Clinique Acne Solutions. It's actually part of a line. It's an oil-free moisturizer and it's step three. I, I didn't buy the other steps. I heard really good reviews about this one. And it says that it helps treat existing acne and prevent future breakouts and it's lightweight and creates a invisible, breathable, breathable, breathable <laughs> barrier against acne causing agents and it helps control excess oil throughout the day. And yes, it does do those things throughout the day, makeup or not, my skin's just producing oil and I'm powdering, powdering, powdering. And when I use this moisturizer, I can definitely tell that the oil is not as noticeable and I'm not powdering as often. The other moisturizer that I use if I'm needing more hydration, I'm actually out of my full bottle, but I just so happen to find <laughs> A sample that I've had in my drawer for a while that came with one of my Sephora purchases. It is the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Moisturizer and this stuff is amazing. It feels so good going on and it does feel, I don't know, it just, you can just tell it's, it's doing a job and it's moisturizing. I adore Peter Thomas Roth's line. Again, it's one of those that you're going to pay quite a bit of money for. But everything that I've used by him and his lines have actually really worked for me. Um, especially this one. This is one that I will put when I have obviously the big bottle. I put it all over my face and neck because it's supposed to help tight and firm just a little bit for both areas. That typically is how I take off my makeup at night. I go through that whole routine, but every now and then my skin may need a little bit extra and that's where my masks come in. I use two different masks for two different reasons. I use one if my face isn't really doing well and it's say it's my time of the month and I'm having hormonal breakouts or my face just isn't looking as good, I guess. Um, I will use this mask by Glam Glow, and it is the Super Mud Clearing Treatment Mask. And this mask, while it is very pricey, I feel like the money is kind of worth it because you don't use so much of it at a time. This one I normally just put in my T-zone where I have kind of the problem areas. When this mask dries, you can actually see your pores through the mask. It goes on a very, very dark consistency. It looks like this. And when it dries, it dries into like a very light gray, but you can definitely see how it's in the pores, like clearing out all the mess that's in there. And it does help with the appearance of pores. It makes them appear a little bit smaller. And I can definitely tell a difference when I use this. I leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes. Normally I just turn it on and then scroll on Facebook for a little while. And when it's dry, you can tell because you can feel it tightening and it's obviously it's all turned to a light gray. Now, if I'm needing more of a hydration type moisturizer, I will go with this one. I will preface this by saying that this was this is an expensive mask. It's a little bit cheaper than Glam Glow, I, Glam Glow, I believe. But again, with masks, you might pay a little bit more, but you're not using as much product. So I think it's taken, it takes me five, six months to completely use up a mask. But this one is for, it's a very luxurious type mask. It is the Peter Thomas Roth 24 karat gold mask. It's a pure luxury lift and firm mask. It says that it has an anti-aging treatment and it helps lift and firm and it also helps also helps tighten the appearance of skin, lifts, firms, brightens, smooths, refreshes. It does what it says. These two masks to me are just like my holy grail masks. I've used it all. I've tried a lot of everything from every every scale of money wise. I've, I've tried cheap stuff from Olay. I've tried expensive stuff from like Tatcha. And th these are the only two that I really, really care about that actually work for my skin. So you guys should definitely try this if you have skin that sounds similar to mine. One though I only use about every other week because it is more pricey. But when you put it on, it just feels so cooling and it just feels like you're honestly treating yourself. And it says it has 24 karat gold in there, which that's interesting. <laughs> um, that's not the reason why I bought this. I read a lot of reviews on this one. And I just really honestly enjoy how it makes my skin look. 
So that is my full skincare video. Um, it just, it works for me. And I know that with skincare, no one's skin is going to be, you know, twinsies with anyone else's skin. Everyone's skin is different. And maybe if you have oily skin, you can try some of these products. And if you have oily skin and use different products, I would love to know what you use down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.